Hello, everybody. Welcome to Sold Exclamation Point. Um, going off to Absolute Sports Cars today. We're going to prep for our next premium auction on KVID. Uh, before I do that, i got to get all my shipping out and uh, shoot this video for you guys. Um, we got a lot of really cool pennants that sold, um, mainly because all I've been doing the last three days is listing pennants. So I had 250 pennants. Um, that I've listed in the last three days, and um, that gets me about 700 total. So I um, had a nice restock. I got down to maybe 350 pennants at one point, and that made me sad. So now, <laughs> now I'm not so sad anymore because I got a nice selection. Um, let's just get right into it. So I get my shipping and get out of here. Uh, first up, we did sell a 1995 women's Final Four poster. We got a bunch of them in. I've, we've sold a couple before. That was $15. I'm not going to show it because it's a poster. Um, next up, we got a uh, relatively recent Nike Alabama tee um, from their uh, back to back championships 2011 2012. That went for $16. Uh, Mitchell Nest, uh, Washington Redskins snapback, uh, modern snapback. Um, pretty clean. Um, so that went for $12. Um, Right now, I, I do think the Mitchell and Ness is, in 20 years, might actually become uh, very collectible. But for right now, you can get them for uh, real cheap. Uh, that was $12. Uh, next up, the Smokey Collection, uh, Carlos Pulido. That went for 8 And this was actually from the Smokey Collection. All the Smokey Collection actually had some pack pulled autographs in it. Maybe a few hundred. Uh, maybe 200 Um But, uh... Seven dollars, James Stewart, number to seventy-seven fifty. I, uh, I call that a steal. Um, signature rookies, you know, don't get a lot of love, but if you like a player, um, because he was your college star, uh, signature rookies are super affordable. I mean, James Stewart for seven bucks. I mean, what are you gonna do? Uh, <laughs> you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna buy it. That's what you're gonna do. Um, had his Vikings Walker set uh, submitted by a client. Uh, went for uh, twelve dollars. Um, one interesting thing about that was I had it for ten dollars ship, and then I've been uh, going into my business policies on eBay, and I'm really trying to whittle down um, what different types of shipping I offer. Because um, what I really want to do is I'm trying to get like items to ship together automatically with no additional shipping. So, as of right now, my categories are, if I can remember correctly, $3.99, no additional shipping. So, if you buy something that's $3.99 from me, um, and all you do is buy the $3.99 stuff, it will automatically combine shipping. Uh, that's for photos, um, cards, ticket stubs, what have you. Um, anything that's flat and extremely light. Uh, schedules. Um, so, I got that one. I got... Eight dollars, uh, no additional shipping, and it's a little dangerous because I put posters and pennants. But I've had, um, I haven't had an instance or maybe one where somebody bought a pennant and a poster. You know, those are two different shipments. It's a tube and a, um, a, a flat sandwich. And the way I look at it is, if it doesn't happen very often, it happens once in a while. Cost of doing business. I'd rather make it extremely easy for people to understand um, what they can buy uh, with no additional shipping. We, we did get an extra sale on that situation. Um, so then we got, uh, so then, then here's the other one we did, was we have $6.99 for anything that um, we can't really combine. Um, so what, that's no free shipping after the first one. Now, we will still negotiate with people about shipping if they buy more than one of these items. This will be like a sweatshirt. Um, the sweatshirt goes in a flat rate bubble for $7.33, so we actually subsidize $0.35, cents, $0.34. Cents. Um, well, I, if, you, I sell two, if I sell two, you know, I'm going to probably get killed because I can't get two in the uh, flat rate uh, bubble mailer. And if it's going to Hawaii or Alaska or something, I'm just going to get murdered on uh, shipping. Uh, so with uh, those heavyweights that go in uh, flat rate shipping, we've got $6.99. $6.99 is 
$6.98, however, would be like for t-shirts, for magazines. Again, we're mixing a lot of items that don't mix super well together. Um, but again, it's, it's unlikely that people are going to order a program and a t-shirt and a, um, trying to think of a, a different type of item that's $6.98. But three different types of items in one order would be unlikely. Most likely, uh, people are going to order four programs or three t-shirts. And it did work out the other day um, as we started doing it. Uh, we sold three um, NCAA baseball shirts to the same person and automatically combined, um, which I think makes the customer a lot happy because they can uh, pay for it right away. They don't have to ask me to uh, readjust the invoice. And I'm happy because I didn't have to readjust the invoice. Um, we got $5 flat for media mail, um, something that we don't have a lot um, into yet. So we got to do a bunch of conversion. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with that. I have a lot of media guys that are um, individual listings. I'm going to combine them into variation listings. Um, just because uh, there, there's, I think it will encourage more multiple sales. Especially with the no additional shipping on media mail. Um, so 8 699 $6.98, $5, $3.99. I think those are my categories. I might have one more that I'm forgetting about. So right now it's kind of slow and, and obnoxious because I got to go into each listing and um, I could I could um, change the shipping rate bulk, but in my description it says what the shipping price is, so I have to manually go into those um, those listings and change what I have in the description. Uh, that's a little annoying, but I've gotten five years and I've sort of changed strategy. Um, multiple times throughout those five years and I think finally I'm getting to a point where I, I really know uh, what I want to do and this last no, uh, January was the first time I really upped all my shipping prices I had basically the same shipping price for I had five dollars shipping on everything for the most part for uh, four years and then um, I didn't change it after a bunch of uh, postal increases and so this last January um, I upped it and then I'll probably won't change anything for two or three years So I'll constantly keep having to subsidize a little bit more uh, postage over the next three years um, Or four years. It depends on how uh, Aggressively the post office increases their prices um, So the, that was a little, little Story right in the middle of the uh, show um, Okay, we made another sale 10 ticket stubs nine of them are versus North Carolina tire hills So I think we know what we're doing one was against uh, North Carolina A&T, um, North Carolina fan. Obviously, uh, that went for $38 for those 10 tickets. And we got our pennants and a 65 uh, champion, cha ALCS champion, Minnesota Twins. Um, it's, in, it's, in, it's in good condition. It's not in great condition. There's a decent amount of fading. But you wouldn't know that unless you put it next to one that was in mint uh, condition. Uh, there's a lot of creasing which is showing up on camera. Um, but the screen print is pretty solid. There's some cracking. But uh, for his age, um, it's, it's still in, in good condition. There was another, no pinhole. Uh, there was another one up uh, that was in really nice condition for 40 which I was surprised that um, it was that low. Uh, we sold ours in a lesser condition. For 29 so uh, the other one on eBay was in a lot nicer condition so we only got uh, $10 less than what they were asking so I, I think that's a pretty good price uh, Dayton uh, Flyers uh, 70s um, this is a situation where there's not a lot of stock of Dayton pennants uh, vintage Dayton pennants they're really Dayton pennants at all um, that went for $58 um, and then we had a two pennant sale this is kind of cool so this is USFL, uh, this is the Portland Breakers, and I want to say the very next year, and I don't know the order, uh, very next year they became the New Orleans Breakers. <laughs> and changed the logo, and changed nothing. Uh, so this will be kind of a cool uh, uh, cool display. People are like, hey, why do you have, uh, why do you have uh, two of the same team up? You know, they're like, ah, look again, it's not the same team. <laughs> Um, so those went for uh, 29 as well um, And that is what I got for today. I'm gonna get this all packaged up so I can drop it off at the post office on the way to 
absolute sports cards and uh get prepped for that k-bit i think it's gonna be a late night um and then the new k-bit auction should go live next tuesday it'll go for a week and will be the fourth tuesday of the month i do ship so if you want to uh, bid on anything on there i do have shipping options available for most items um there might be a handful of items that i won't be able to ship uh, that's what I got. Thanks for watching. Hope I'll be back with another video tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody.